Hey everyone, today I'm just going to show you this fantastic Chinese character writing app called Spritter. Which is here. You can also get it for Japanese, it's great for language learning and in particular, um, really, really good for writing characters. So for yourself or for your students, um, you can get a lot out of it. Uh, if we open up Spritter, um, after you've created your account, which you can do on their web page as well, it's really useful. Uh, you download study lists. Once you've got your study lists going, you can start learning your Chinese characters. Uh, before we get to the study part though, we're just going to go through some of the functions of Scritter. Having a look at progress first. Progress gives you the data feedback uh, with how you've been going with your last lesson. Right, so you've got the timing, how much you've studied, <coughs> what you've added, and your score in percentage. And you can go through the various functions that are available on Scritter, which is the character definitions, the reading, and the writing, and the tone. So they're the four functions that you can have a look at. Also gives you data from the week, month, or year. You can have a look at as well. Right, so it gives you some really, really good feedback there. All right, now, so that's progress. The list, you can develop uh, and download your own lists. And I'll show you how you can uh, do that in a moment. You can go through the textbooks. These are my lists here. So these are the ones I've listed already or downloaded already. You can go to textbooks. They've got a really extensive list of textbooks. I've been teaching Chinese for a long time, and these ones are the, the ones that I think everyone would be using, or some of them. We use the Nihao series at my school. And how you'd go about this is, if you want to download, you would go to the book you wanted, and it would give you a list here. You go to content, and then you just download the list by pressing on it <coughs> and you could select all of them or just some of the ones. I'll select all and go to word actions, choose the action that you want. And if you want to add that to the list, you go to done. Now, I'm not going to do that because I've already done it. But that's basically the way that you would download all your lists. All right now settings is how you would go about um, how you revise or practice your new work. So you could just go through that yourself, set it um, how you like it. And then help is pretty useful too. Uh, the first one, the guide, it just up, gives you a few ideas of how you can actually use the swipe functions in a bit more. You can contact them and leave a message. Uh, if you're into competition, you could probably compete with some of the people on the forum. And then there's a forum as well. So if you want to get some feedback and stuff, you can join the forum. All right, now, the main parts of obviously the study and the advanced study, which we're going to talk about in the next video. So once you uh, create your account, with the app or on the website, probably best to have both. Uh, then you'll be able to use some of the great functions we have here. Right, it's a really, really good app. I highly recommend it.